Welcome to a new vlog, people. Today we are in my own town. Yeah, that's correct. We are in Italy, guys. Let's go vlogging. Hi guys and welcome back to the second Italy vlog. Today I'm going to show you the town center of my hometown. We are in Fano, which is a town in the region of Marche in central Italy. Now this is a very very special vlog to me guys because this is my hometown, I was born here and I lived here for 19 years. So there's a lot of emotions behind it, but it will be my pleasure to show it to you. This town, guys, was founded as a Roman camp. So there's a lot of Romans influence throughout the city and as well a lot of churches because central Italy was under the control of the church throughout the history. As always, guys, even though I'm home, I've done my research, so I'm going to show you the main places attractions in town i want to make other vlogs with more specific things but first of all let's see the town the overview of the place so let's go vlogging all right guys so to go into town from my mom's house it's actually a walkable distance you can get there in like 15 minutes to get into town we're just going by bike just because it's easier to move around and just kind of like go to other places as well. Let's go! Okay guys, so this is the very very entrance of the town center. This is the high street basically. We're just good to go to go along there and go around the city. Okay guys, so I have just parked my bike. We're going to start the tour and I've already noticed something really cool I want to show you. There's a shop where they make homemade pasta. Let's go and see it. So there's some architecture around guys, as you can see here. We're going that way. We are already in town. So in town, guys, there are now, of course, a lot of bars, restaurants and shops. It's a really, really lovely town. Um, really quiet, really good for families. Now it's 3 p.m. And at this time of the day, most of the shops are closed. There are just some bars open. So it would be kind of empty, but it's wrong. People would gather here, basically. There are also a lot of churches around, guys. We're not going to see them all today, but this is just a preview. Our first stop of the vlog, guys, is the main square, which is the focal point of the town. It's lovely, a lot of bars, again, restaurants. It gets really crowded during summer or winter time in the evening. There's a beautiful fountain and buildings. Okay guys, so that's the statue of Fortune of Fano because the original name of Fano is Fanum Fortunen, the city of fortune. And basically, this lady right there, she's the symbol of the whole city. So as you can see guys, we got bars there all over the place. And look at here again. Now, in this palace, guys, like there, that's the entrance of the theatre. It's basically the main theatre in town. And I remember when I would go to elementary school, we would go there once in a while to see some plays, which are, were really great. All right, guys, I have to say, I feel a bit weird 
meaning vlogging is fine as always there aren't even a lot of people around but you know people are not used to like tourists who speak english a lot we mainly have italian tourism here and some people maybe from germany and stuff but people look at me in a weird way and i have my weird pink hat on that might be the reason as well but i'm having fun i hope you are too the next stop guys is right there So the spot where we are at now, guys, is the Church Chiesa di San Francesco. So this is the church, or better to say, what remains of the church. And it's really cool because as you can see, the ceiling is not there anymore. And basically, this is one of the oldest monuments in town, and it dates to the 13th century. And those two guys are what we call Tombe Malatestiane. So basically they are tombstones of one of the most noble family in the town of the Middle Ages, which are the Malatesta. All right guys, so far so good. We are now moving forward and we're going to check the fortress of the city out. And this is another central spot of town. So these guys was basically at first a school, an elementary school, and now it is a public library for everyone to use. This is a park, some other bars there. It's a lovely building and especially it's really central to town, so a lot of people use it. Right guys, that's the place, that's the place we are in. As you can see from the panel, Rocca Malatestiana. So this fortress, guys, was built by one of the most noble and important families of Italy during the Middle Age, who was in control of the area from 1295 to the 1500s. So it says it was built by this man, Matteo Nuti, for this guy, Pandolfo Malatesta. Malatesta is the name of the family between 1430, uh, 1438 and 1452. As it was a fortress, guys, all there, there was water before to protect it, of course. So this is how it looks inside now, guys. And of course, given the big space, they just do a lot of events here. But this is how it is. Nothing else to see, guys. As you can see, the place is basically used for events. But we're going to go that way to see some view. <laughs> so basically, guys, this is the preferred area. That's where the train goes and the sea is that way where we were in the previous vlog. Now guys, now that the very first half of our tour is basically done, it's time for a little break. Uh, what better than eating an ice cream here in Italy? Now, you know guys by now I think that I'm not a real Italian because of my food intolerances, but here in Italy, there are so many ice cream shops as there are Starbucks in the UK or in the US, I guess. So there's always some ice cream for everyone, which means there is ice cream also for me. And I'm going to show you because the shop where I'm going to buy this ice cream is lovely. Let's go, guys. So guys, it's quite big because it goes all the way there. But ice cream, or shall I say, gelato this time 
is that way let's go see guys there are arches everywhere really easy to find them here that's the roman influence this is the end of the high street and if we go that way you basically go to the road to go to another town by the way guys that thing that kind of cone there is basically the symbol of the carnival of the town because the oldest carnival of italy is from this town and it's run every february which is amazing so this is the place guys gelato and frutta which translate to ice cream and fruit so guys this is uh, dark chocolate and coconut ice cream and it's made out of rice that's why I can eat it because it's fully really vegan and it's delicious you already know this guys but if you visit Italy just definitely definitely get one ice cream anyway the next stop is guys is the Mura Auguste the Roman wall around the town so basically guys that's it starts there right and it goes down that way which is where we're going right now we're going to walk now guys into the inner part of the wall so inside the city later on we're going to go in outside the original wall guys was 1760 meters in length around the town and it was built on order of the emperor augusto between the 9th and 10th century pretty cool just because it can kind of like reminds of the story of the city and that's one of the entrances or exits of the wall from the city and here it is guys this is called porta della mandria this guys was one of the exits from the town of the roman wall which leads to the west and if you get out of this uh, exit basically you would go especially in the past to the next roman camp slash town which is called pesaro there you go again just to give you another perspective of the walls going that way now guys we're going to see one of the best things of town that way so here we are guys again the walls we're going to go up there now though this is where i used to get the bus to go to school and now there are still some buses but it's mainly like nothing basically Better view here guys, that's I think one of the best part of the walls that still remains. There, basically nothing great, it's like the road, just around it. Here we go, 360 degree view. But there, behind the tree, that's where the cool things are. So we have two things guys, we got that statue there and that arch. Here we are again, batch review now. And that's the south. We came and started the vlog that way. By the way, guys, I have a vlog from July 2019 uh, about the Fano Romana, which is a celebration that runs in July here, where we basically dress up as Romans. And here we have a big parade and horses running is wonderful. I'll leave the link of the video down below so you can check it out because it's one of a kind. I guess it's time to go and see those two places and give you an explanation, right? Let's go down, 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 down. So this is the model of the city, guys, which is really cool because I can kind of like explain to you uh, what we've seen, basically. So that, that this one, that's the main road we were walking through when I told you about the high street. So as you can see, just the walls all around it. And here we have it guys, the main statue of the city, Cesare Ottaviano Augusto. 
So this guy was the very first Roman emperor and he was in control from, was it 24 BC to 13 BC or something like that? And basically, is pointing towards Rome. That's that's the meaning of like him pointing. This is not the real statue though, it's in another museum. Now guys, that is the most famous monument of the city, which is called Arco, Arch of Augusto, Arco da Augusto. So basically guys, the arch uh, would give access to the city and it basically is uh, basically linked to Via Flaminia, which is the road that was going to Rome at the time. Okay, from there, you can see, you can go all that way. Let's get a bit closer guys, shall we? Let's go! That's the main entrance and there were two on the side. I think there were like four uh, people walking and that one for carriages going in or horses and stuff like that. Also guys, the arch was all covered with my white marble, which was then taken out because it was basically used to, to build a church nearby, but it would have been all white. There are pieces missing there, of course, and the columns up there as well, which were, I think, destroyed during a bombardment or something. So we got the arch here, guys, and basically going that way, we go back into town. Now guys, we are going on to the very last spot to see. At least for this vlog, there are actually a lot of things to see which I'm not able to show you all in one place. One vlog, should I say. Uh, but I might vlog again, so don't you worry guys. I'll, I'll keep you covered. <laughs> so let's go and see the main church slash cathedral of the town. Are you ready, people? Are you ready? So this is the church basically, Roman style. Right guys, very short stop inside. Um, the, churches, the churches here are actually really full with decorations and stuff. They are extremely beautiful. I want to go to some of them and check them out. This one was like really empty to be honest, so do not consider it as an Italian church. I mean, it's an Italian church, you know, but you know, it's not the usual one. All right guys, so the vlog of the town center has just finished. So I hope you enjoyed it guys. And I will see you real soon in the next video, of course. And everyone is looking at me because I'm speaking English, so they do not understand what I'm talking about. Hi, everyone. And anyway, I'm really, really had some fun uh, shooting this for you guys. Leave me a comment down below. What do you think? Did you like the very, or the second one actually, vlog of my hometown? And I will see you real soon in the next one. Take off girls out from Italy. Ciao, ciao, ragazzi. Alla prossima. Bye.